You on out there? All right, let's get this thing moving. All right, today, guys, we're going to give you some wiring tips. Um, we had a trailer come in that had the ABS light that was tore off of it. So we ordered a new pigtail and also a new light. Bill's going to talk to you about what tools you're going to need. And we're going to get started and show you how to properly do a wiring job on a trailer. All right, we got the side cutter, we got the wire strippers, we got the crimpers, and we've got a torch. These are the butt connectors that have the heat shrink made into them. Uh, that's what these crimpers are made for. Uh, you can use regular crimpers if you've got the regular butt connectors, but you use regular butt connectors, then you've got to either use heat shrink, silicone, or just don't worry about it at all, and your wires will end up corroded, and six months down the road, you're redoing your work over again. That's why we've got these to prevent that. All right, guys, let's go do it. We'll show you how it's done. All right, guys, here's the uh, trailer. Of course, here's where the wire comes through. Um, like I said, the light was tore off. There's the pigtail that was under it that was damaged. And Bill's going to talk to you about what we need to do to try to fix this thing the right way. First thing you want to do is clip these two wires. Uh, you can see there's damage on the wires here and here. I'm going to come behind there and clip them off. On this particular light, yeah, that was one of those left shoulder parts. We don't need that anymore. On this particular light, uh, you got one wire that's got a green line on it. It's white. And this one is just a solid white wire. But on this particular light, uh, either way you hook it up will be okay. Normally, when you've got a black and white wire, the black is going to normally be your, uh, your positive wire and the white is going to normally be your ground. That's why it's got this on it. So that way you can run a screw through it. Since this has got two wires, we're going to clip both ends of this off, just like that. When you go to strip your wires, so many people want to strip two or three inches off the wire, that's not necessary. That's about as much as I'd normally strip off. You don't need much to go into the butt connectors. Enough for it to go in and crimp down. It's maybe about three eighths of an inch. Yep. And we'll do the same thing on the plug. If you happen to cut off, take too much insulation off you can come back with your side cutters and cut the excess off to where you've only got just a little bit hanging out. All right, let me shove that in the hole. These particular crimpers has got a place for the blue butt connectors. Squeeze it all the way down and it lets off. It doesn't put too much pressure on it to where it cuts in and causes you to have a short. It crimps it just enough. And these come from, uh, come from Harbor Freight, I believe. They're like 20, 25 bucks for them. But they, they're an awesome set of crimpers yep you heard it guys harbor freight and awesome was in the same sentence that's rare you always want to give these a light tug make sure that they're on good if they're not they come off then it will eventually cause problems so you want to always make sure you got a good secure connection on them and like I said on this particular light uh, either way you hook it up uh, is okay Different style lights have different uh, different ways you can do it. You got to have some of them hooked up exactly the way they come off, like on your tail lights. But any of your marker lights or ABS lights or anything like that, it does not matter. 
And there you go on the crimping part. Now, when you go to heat these up, just where you're gonna pay attention, guys, because you sure don't want to do it too much. You don't want to use the flame. You want to use the heat from the flame. If you use the flame, then all the gooey stuff's gonna run out the ends and your crimp is not gonna work right. So it's just sucking. It's down. not gonna seal off right, yeah. You just want to kind of melt it down. It'll take a minute. A heat gun will do this too. It takes a little bit longer. You can actually see the uh, that heat shrink forming to the wire. It's kind of melting all together. Now I am getting the flame a little bit close to it, but I'm moving it around too to get it where it's evenly squeezed down. And that's it. All right, guys, we're gonna get this light mounted we'll plug it up and we'll see if it works we'll be right back all right guys we got the wires run through the trailer the grommet we got the light connected fixing to test it see if it's working um once he supplies power turns the key on this light should come on stay about five seconds and then go off if it doesn't go off we know we have an abs issue All right, it went off on its own. So all we gotta do is mount the light and uh, we'll go from there. Be right back. All right guys, there's the light. We got it stuck back on the trailer. We're gonna test it one more time. All right, finished job. That's how you install an ABS light how all the butt connectors and all that works so you'll have a proper seal and won't have any connection issues. See y'all.